What's going on everyone? Peter here, back with another video. As I've got good feedback from my arm workout, I'm going to be filming a full back workout. So I'm going to show you today typically how I train back, typically what you should include in your back day. I'm going to take you through step by step guide of everything that I do in order to build mass and to build fitness on my back. But first things first, I'm going to go eat. Is that better? That is, that is pure dog shit. That's pure dog shit. That's better. That is, it's so dark in this kitchen, man. First meal of the day, we have one banana. I normally have two, but this banana, look at the size of that, man. That is insane. That is a big one. Big, big one. Glass of milk, half glass of orange juice, half glass of cranberry juice, Bosch. In we go. Couple scoops of BCAs, and we have about 70 grams of oats with a couple pieces of fruit, and then, the full on bulk, four, four scrambled eggs with a bit of steak to start the day off right. Look at that, meaty. So yeah, I'm gonna eat all this and then I'm gonna have another meal, go to the gym and show you step-by-step -step guide of how I train back. But until then, I'll see you at probably at the gym. Right, what's happening guys? Just got in the gym now. I basically just procrastinated for like five, six hours. Had a few more meals, so about four meals, ready to train some back. I had um, three scoops of amino energy. You know, I normally have limitless because, you know, I don't have <laughs> <laughs> Right, first things first. I always do this every back day. I normally do that pullover with a rope or pull-ups just to warm the back up. I normally do about five sets, not too many reps, about five sets till my back feels a bit warm and then going to Barbell Row. So, let's do it. Growing up, parents got me a guitar. Said you could do anything, kid, you could go far. You could be the president, fireman, race cars. The sky's the limit, kid, so shoot for the stars. So I strum that guitar every day Found the passion for music never went away I joined a couple bands and played a few shows Tried to impress the girl in the front row But soon enough everything starts to change As you grow up nobody treats you the same They try to take your future and make it real safe You could be a doctor, accountant or something sane but yo, whatever happened to the sky was the limit I fell in love with music, never thought it was a gimmick I worked so hard on every tune and every single lyric My whole life I feel really small I don't want to move so I look small, you know, slowly and then strengthen up, back area. Ooh, feet in Next exercise I normally have to do is some sort of pull down. Now you can do that pull down, but for me, I like to do this. The main tip with this is to think if there's a pencil in between your back and you're trying to squeeze the pencil as much as you can every single rep and try not to use your biceps so think about using your fingertips and yeah that's it identity dependent on being artistic now you want to strip that away so you feel okay because if i make it to the top what does that really say that you shouldn't have given up that you made the mistake but if i fail you feel much better about picking your lane right yeah things are gonna get better real soon yeah i'ma just do me you just do you I swear it's gonna get better real soon. Next, is it. Next exercise is seated row, seated cable row, what you want to call it. Probably one of the best for building the thickness in the back. Anything narrow is going to build more thickness in the back. You can really go heavy on these. So, yeah, seated cable row. Let's go. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose. Right, moving on to the next exercise. This is called a lap pullover. You can do it with a straight bar, but I normally do it with a rope just because I prefer it. This exercise primarily targets the lat, so it will isolate your lat. I only count the number of sets of doing this one. I kind of just do about six sets, really try to get a very good contraction and keep it moving. <laughs> Guys. Haters try so hard to talk me down, but they can't stop the sound. Already on the ground, everything is growing faster than I can count. You ain't gonna stop me now because I got this now. I got the formula and I'm about to drop it loud. So, what we talking about? There is no talking now. We take action with passion, we're rocking now. It's tick talking now, the clock's talking down. And all my ears, haters try so hard to talk me down, but they can't stop the sound. Already on the ground, everything is growing faster than I can count. This is 
number five, the fifth exercise I always do um, to finish off is T-bar rows. Again, I don't go like to stack the weight on this one. I like to really focus on the contraction. Sure, the squat's got to come off though. And you're too sweaty. It's a struggle to get the string off. Because you're too big, I'm too big. Get it. That's the end of the back workout. They're the five exercises I normally do. We started off with barbell rows, and then we went to lat pull down, the hammer strength ones over the plates. Then we went on to CT cable row. I did lat pull over and T bar rows finish up. So yeah, that's, that's pretty brutal, I'd say. If you did like the video, please smash the like button as always. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I appreciate that as well. I think I'm almost at 400 subscribers, so if we could get me to 400 subscribers, if you're watching this, please subscribe. If this did help you, bring out more content. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.